You came to Roost to change your business by automating all of those business processes. But while you may need to learn how to build some of these processes yourself, we have pre-built automations for common MSP use cases that you can access right now. Need to install ad hoc software with Amibot and update a ticket? We got you. Need to add or remove users from Azure or Exchange Online groups? Not a problem. You can download what are called crates to handle these processes for you. So where do we find this treasure trove of pre-built automations you ask? Well, let's take a look. If you come into Roost, you will see there is a section here on the left called crates. If we open this up, we will find the crate marketplace. The crate marketplace has a ton of these pre-built automations that include workflows, triggers, that is the thing that kicks off the workflow, as well as in some cases, forms. So let's take a look at the options in the marketplace here, and then we can look at a few of these that might work out for you. So first at the top here, we have the ability to sort and filter as well as of course, search. We can also sort by and filter by things like maturity or even tags, which include some of these integrations. And of course we can sort by things like alphabetical, date created, as well as popularity. Now I do want to highlight maturity here really quickly. Some of these crates are in an earlier stage. They may work, but they're not fully enhanced automations yet. But honestly, even some of these earlier stage quote unquote immature crates can still provide a lot of value for you if it's the use case that you're looking for. So if I sort by popularity here, I'll see that there are a number of options here that are most commonly used across the board. Now, many of these you'll notice are getting started crates. That means there are crates that you can get started with that you might have already worked through with your CSM. But if you haven't, you can take a look at these and these are some good options for you. So what does it look like to actually use a crate? First, we can click into the crate. So for example, if I wanted to unpack the configure organization variables crate, I can click into this here and I'll see that where it says what's being installed, we have workflows, triggers, and forms, just like I mentioned earlier. So the workflows will show you every single workflow that is included in this crate. And oftentimes these crates will include multiple use cases or multiple integrations to make sure that anybody, no matter who they're coming from, what PSA, what RMM they're using, they can make use of this crate and get value right now. Some of these workflows act as sub workflows. That is, they are smaller components that work into a larger automation process. And once you install the crate, you can actually poke around, take a look and even learn from some of these workflows. So if I close this up here, next I will see triggers. Now it's really important to note something here. You'll notice that all of the triggers here are enabled. And again, just as a quick recap, a trigger is simply the action that kicks off the automation. So that could be a form submission. Someone fills in a form and hits submit and that kicks off the automation. But what's important here is that when they are enabled, that means if you unpack this crate, these automations can start working right away. Maybe that's good for you. But in most cases, we would actually recommend that you disable these triggers when you are unpacking the crate. What that allows you to do is make sure that everything is set up properly and aligned before you actually start these processes. This is especially important for cases like PSA trigger or even cron triggers, which are time-based because you could just unpack this crate. And if someone creates a ticket, for example, it could immediately start running. And finally, we have forms. And these are often included as those form triggers. You'll have the trigger set up and then you'll have the actual forms that need to be filled out. Now I've already unpacked this crate here. So for me, it's gonna look like update configuration. But if I click on update configuration here, this is what the experience will look like when you click unpack on a crate. It will give you some information about the crate and you can continue. In some cases, you have to select what integration you're using, such as your PSA. Otherwise here, what's really important is you can add your time saved. This is a really, really important metric that we come back to time and time and time again. As Aaron, our CEO, always says, the best automations are often the most forgettable. And then from there, we can go ahead and click unpack. And what this will do is it will take all of this and install it into your tenant. And now that you have a grasp on what those crates are and how you can make use of them, you can get exponentially more value out of Roost. And if you're curious how to manage some of those forms, specifically the drop down options that you get from those crates, check out this video on options generators. We'll of course have more to come. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.